one day, this was July 2000, July 19, 1989, when we came to Baba. He called us in the interview room. And Swami said to us, go to Zambia. He said, go to Zambia and spread my message of love through schools. Build, build a school, you see. We had only been to Zambia to conduct a workshop for three days. That's all. We didn't know anybody there. He said, go there and build a school, spread my message of love. And when we were about to come out of the interview room at Buddha Prabhupada here, uh, Genevieve turned around, you know, sometimes women are braver than we are, mm -hmm. women, and said, uh, but Swami, where are we going to get the money from? Swami said, sell your house and use the money to build the school. If it's not enough, borrow from the banks. <laughs> Being Christians, I was reminded of the story of Jesus Christ and the rich man who went to him and said, Master, I've done this, I've done that, I've done that, etc. What else can I do in order to gain eternal life? And Jesus said to him, sell all that you have, give to the poor and follow me. And as soon as Jesus said that, this man ran away. <laughs> he ran away. I was rem we were reminded of that then. We knew that this was a test. I mean, if Baba wants to build anything, he could produce money and build it. But why did he say we should, we should sell our house? This was a test. So we were very happy that he asked us to sell our house, to sell everything, leave the UK and go to Zambia. So and you didn't run away? No, we, no, we did not run away. We knew it was a test. No, we didn't run away. In fact, we were very, very happy. We were extremely, we felt extremely fortunate that God should ask <coughs> us that what was in the Bible was being repeated, they say. So this was how we went to Went to, went to Zambia, we packed up. July, November, we left uh, London on the 22nd day of December, 1989, after we had uh, packed all our things. But of course, we could not sell the wife, I mean the house straight away, uh, because it takes time to sell a house. However, we had some savings and insurance and cars, and we sold all those, and uh, took with us everything, including carpets and uh, window curtains, everything, pots and pans, because Baba said, leave nothing. In other words, he wanted us to cut the bridge, <laughs> you see, and so we went. And that's how we went to Zambia, and uh, in a strange country. Uh, it's another big story, uh, but with faith in him, it took us 18 months to build this school. He said, build it all. He said, 24 classrooms the school at the time, 24 classrooms in Zambia. The, Satya, the first Satya Sai school uh, outside India. Problems? Well, I was never a builder. We didn't have enough money to hire a contractor. So I did the building myself. In other words, I got the master builders from the villages, the men who were employed by the companies. When the companies got contracts, they employed these people and pay them very little, you see, and they kept the bulk, of the, the bulk of the money. These were the people I got. And I was with them 12 hours a day, 12 hours a day, and I learned a lot how to build a house. Now I could build many houses, including the institute that we have there. It was not very easy. Sometimes I had to fly to Lusaka from, uh, from Andola to get materials like bolts and nuts. But we overcame all these difficulties. We were just too happy that we have been asked by God to start this school. The, our faith was, was, was so strong, we never doubted. We just felt happy to do this work. We felt this was a wonderful opportunity given to us to take Swami's mission to Africa, the mission of especially education, to look at the uh, those numbers that are below the cutoff points, that is, the failures. We said, well, could we take the failures? Because those who had passed had been given places. Those who had failed had no places. So we selected from among the failures from this basket and took them to Satya Sai. 
people thought that we were crazy. They said, how can you take failures to your secondary school, to do secondary school work? These are unteachables, they are difficult, and also they are retarded. We said, we'll try. And it is this secondary school, these boys, that we took that made the school famous because after two years, when they took the grade nine, this was a national uh, examination, their grades were the highest in the country. How was this? Why? Because of the human values program, the practical application of truth and love and peace and righteousness and nonviolence by us, the teachers, my wife and I and, uh, and the teachers around us, we groomed them, we made them become exemplars of love. We made them feel uh, that the children were their children. We just poured love and love and love onto these children. Something that the children had never experienced at home. When we opened the school, we had difficulty in finding people today there, were, there are more peoples from the town, from the middle class, than from among the poor, because now they are coming. When we opened the school, there was only one car, one Mercedes car, who used to bring a Muslim boy. Today, there are many cars. There are cruisers. In other words, even the rich bring their children to the school. The school is now known nationally. It's recognized as one of the best in the country.